Hi folks, I'm Josh and welcome back to Totally Accurate Battle Simulator in which today I am going to be doing duels and what better way to start this off than just the simplest. I'm going to try as many different combinations as he. Who's the best? Obviously, I'm going to be gunning for the left team. Place your bets now, everyone. Uh, red or blue? Um, and before I forget, I'd like to thank the new planet who commented on my first uh, totally accurate battle simulator. Oh, they're hugging! Oh, we gave him a cheeky slap on the bum there. Hey, good job, red team. I don't, I don't know if does it change. Or is it always red team that wins? Does he have some sort of advantage? I'm not sure. But they're going straight for it. Yay! Ooh, cheeky. Ah, blue victory. Okay, it really it really doesn't matter. Yes. As I said, the new planet is the person you have to thank for this amazing idea. Uh, they commented on my first tabs video and it's an awesome idea, so let's let's try boxer versus uh, peasant here. I know the first time I've ever used boxers, they got completely ruined. Except for this time, that was a really quick uh, right hook, um, and you've got you got me hooked, dude. So, what's boxer versus boxer like? I'm I'm in I'm intrigued. I'm this is for science, everyone. This is. True science, where oh, blue went in for the uppercut, but right, the, the the right hook of red, the red right hook, the famous red right hook, got in there first. Okay, we're just going up the chain this time, and seeing what what can a boxer do versus a pointy, was that like a haste uh, thingy? Oh, oh, he came. He came in under his defences and gave him a good old uppercut. That was awesome. I want to see that again. I'm very glad at the amount of red wins, especially as I voted at the beginning for for red red team. Ooh, I accidentally looked at his ass, except for the fact that I missed the spikeage. I have no idea what happened there. This this could go either way. Hang on. Come on, come on, buddy. We got this. Oh, he clipped you in the face. Oh, so sad. Too bad. Let's try <laughs> farmer versus farmer. Um, get off my land. No, you get off my land. This is my land. Who are? Oh, I got a tractor. That's farmers, right? <laughs> they had a nice duel with their light saber. Uh, style duel with, with the pitchfork. Pitchforks is the word I was looking for. Oh, he whinged a little bit there. Don't don't be a sore loser. Um, I want to get I want to get higher up the scale. What is it? The the cost chart. Barbarians stupider but more expensive than farmers. Oh, he gave him a swift kick to the balls there. That's that's low. That's a low blow there. I'm very in <laughs> one of the reasons I, I decided to do the duels is that I've seen my friends like Dre and uh, Weasel do like ridiculously huge battles, and I can't, I just can't do that <laughs> because I've not got a, a strong enough, a powerful enough uh, computer, and it you're idiots. See? <laughs> that was brilliant. That was a solid bonk on the head there. I like it. Okay, Poacher. Poacher is going to have a bit of an advantage here, so I'm going to I'm going to move you forward so the barbarian can get into range. But maybe oh. Oh! Oh! He's a vampire. He's a vamp he's a bar Track. No, I can't do it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The word puns aren't with me today. The word, the pun gods. Anyway, I've never seen ranged versus ranged like this. So, for science, I, I'd say so far the. You're awful at this. So far, the best. Oh my god. Has anyone played the game? Uh, is it Ar Is it just called Archer? The online game? Is it v Archer? V Archer versus? 
the 2D thing where you got to use power and angles and shoot people in the head. That's that's how I feel about this particular engagement. You two really need to sort yourselves out. Because the first shot always goes really... And then the second one, and then the third one... Oh! Oh, Red's in a bit of trouble. No, it's evened out. You're both idiots. <laughs> it's clearly complete luck. Oh my god, that was two in the head. One for each eye. Okay, see if a footman survives this. I don't know if people have different amounts of health, but it seems like if... Ooh. Ooh! Oh, oh my godness! My godness! Wow! Touché, sir! So hang on, let's try a footman versus like a farmer. I think footmen have more health than just a standard peasant. This dude here might get the range. Nope. I think... Okay. Okay, I, I get it. The, uh... Wow. The footman is seriously... strong. Okay, okay, we've got to see some good clashing of swords here. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, this, this is going to be pretty random as to who wins, isn't it? Let's try it again. <laughs> I I would love for them to do like pretend sword. Oh God, no, no! It's <laughs> completely random who wins. But it's interesting to see how the different flailing affects uh, how much damage gets dealt. Oh, pokey, but not pokey enough. It's not the size, mate. It's how you use it. Let's uh, let's try that one again. See if he gets an advantage. I think the spearman is supposed to be used with the shield wall, uh, like I did in the last video. Oh, oh god, oh, that looks so painful. Oh, oh, I think like the speed and if if they get a good swing, that that does more damage. Maybe. Okay, we're gonna. We're gonna go straight for the shield versus the footman, because the footman's winning here. It's like, it's like a knockout competition. If you can't win, then you have to escalate to the next level. The, even the shields, even the shields. Hang on, I wanna, I wanna break from our, our little experiment here to see how, how this works as like a, a shield wall versus, uh, should we even it out? Yeah, sure. A shield wall versus uh, a sword wall. And you know, I would have... No. No, the shields absolutely cannot defend themselves, which is weird. Right? That's that's not how things are supposed to happen. <laughs> well, I, I guess a good way of... Oh my god, that's... That's terrifying. Good way of defending yourself is to glitch out the other team. That's hacks. Hacks, sir! You are hacking! This is... This is unfair. <laughs> no. Okay, shield man. Oh, he took a couple of hits, but he's not going down. He's a... He's a real survivor. Mm, not that. Not that good, though. <laughs> Those two at the back are drunk. They're like, I love you. Let's go get tattoos. Of my face on your bum, because that's that's how it works, right? I'm gonna give the archer a little bit of an advantage. I'm not gonna lie. I want to win. I want red team to get a win this time. If if they can hit them, that would be lovely. Oh my gosh, you're gonna get slaughtered. <laughs> oh, it's yeah. Just reminded me of that bit in uh, Game of Thrones. I know I've already done a Game of Thrones episode uh, last time, but seriously, the the bit where Jon Snow is is versus the other guy who's also a bastard, and he's like, okay, okay, I'm fairly sure I know who's going to win in this instance. Anyway, I, I was going on a thing about Jon Snow. Well, who would have guessed? Red victory. <laughs> Okay, so uh, how about if we move him off center so the whoops, so the chariot doesn't get a straight charge at him. He does have a char no. Oh, oh, we clipped him. 
that, that uh, it's not very smart none of these you're going around in circles mate oh this could be the end he's circling like a vulture around the carrion just is this guy running away right now <laughs> I think, I think the chariot's gonna blow itself up, honestly. Crashing into trees. Who wins here? No one. This could go on for a very long time. Oh, no. <gasps> that was a, that was an accident. I'm not counting that as a red victory. That was a complete accident. Okay, so... If only for stupidity, the footman kind of survived. What next? Should we go? Should we go archer versus archer? Because there's there's some stuff we haven't done here. And you just shoot your loads at each other until someone. Oh, Ryan the dick. Phrasing. I was I was gonna try and do an archer joke, but you didn't give me enough time. Can we can we go faster? I wish there was a slow mo and we could like place our cams and then get it get it to start. I like this camera angle, especially with a blur. Oh! Is it is it gonna be in? You're so bad at this. <laughs> like, they're even trying. I can tell they're trying because they're so close every single time. But no. This... <sighs> I might have a nap. Yeah. No, no, it's... I think everyone's right when they say poachers are better, because this this guy's wobbling his head like, oh, you can't get me, and the other guy's wobbling in his light like, well, you're an idiot as well. You can't aim for for for. T I was gonna say shit, but there's there's always a nice phrase that my grandmother used to use. You can't do a thing for Duffy. She doesn't sound like that. That's just my old generic old person voice. <laughs> oh my God, someone died or I'm going to die. I'm just gonna collapse of exhaustion and boredom. Does that guy get stabbed in his nuts or something? Or did it miss? No, it missed. Boring. Are they getting closer or are they just waggling their legs? Oh my God, this is so bad. This is just so bad. Someone, no, I'm, I'm calling it. Draw? No, not even a draw. Both of them got executed for incompetence. Right, let's try the big stuff now. Get into the big stuff. Head to head, horse. Ooh, oh, they're hugging. Oh, that's cute. I wonder if you could do chariot races in this. That'd be fun. <laughs> are we get? Are we getting to the? Du -du 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 -du. Come on, someone, you both need to turn around and just thwack each other. Jules wasn't a great idea for this this particular unit, was it? <laughs> We've got a couple of hits in. Someone's got to give. Oh, oh, come on. Use your swords. What do you... Like, how, how do you win this? Oh, red... Red, red hacked. I saw it. You stretched, you stretched your body around and kicked him in the ass, didn't you? Okay, no more chariots. That's going to take. Oh wait, no. A chariot versus a cannon crew. Let's see. Ooh. Well, I think the chariot's got some advantage in that. <laughs> it's really. F Where did that guy go? Bye. When when he signed up for the cannon crew, he actually just wanted to be one of those circus performers who 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 worked in it in the the bit where you know he gets he is a human cannibal that's what i'm trying to say here okay cannon crew versus cannon crew i don't know if they can move i don't know how long their range is but for science for science we will find out exactly who gets squished oh they do move marvelous and now, now they're moving into uh ooh he's uh Straddling his cannon a bit sensually. <gasps> oh my god, it's gonna be stalemate, isn't it? <laughs> oh good, finally someone won. <laughs> Straddling the cannon a bit sensually there. Okay, let's try ballistas. Let's see, let's see how the heavy duty stuff works. I should have I should have given the ballista to blue team really, because they lost the last one. But either way, 
Oh, the blister has range on it. I don't know how this is gonna go. Fire! Blam! Oh! What? There was a... I mean, there was a blue guy. <laughs> he's somewhere up there. He, he's camouflaged quite well, because, you know, sky and stuff. We're coming to the end of this science experiment here, and I think we're finding that the footman is ridiculously well armoured. Um, I don't think Footman versus Ballista would go very well. Oh, oh, blue team got a, an early lead there for some reason. Uh, although... They, um... Yeah, I don't think this is gonna... We're not gonna find an end to this one. The only shame... Uh, the, the only thing I'm, I'm not I don't I don't feel ashamed but the only thing that is a shame in this particular game mode is you can't spawn the chicken poopers the the chicken shits they just don't have a listing which is a real shame <laughs> it's like look at my yoga it can kill your oh blue with a little bit of an advantage there maybe it's timing maybe it's placement but let's see catapult versus. Ooh, how about how about footman? Because oops, red victory. Good, good job, red team. <laughs> good hustle. Um, there we go, footman. You have to stand there because otherwise you're getting it wrecked. Riggedy, riggedy, wrecked, son. Um, okay. Just no. Nope. Okay, fine. <laughs> He's bent, he's bent at the, uh, the hip, he's like, ah, oh, yeah, just nice relaxing lay down. Okay, how about we just spam all of the things? How about that? Uh, and then, like, heavy, heavy duty stuff versus not heavy duty stuff. So these guys on the left have 4,000 worth of units, and they've got eight units. So how about we put some poachers down <laughs> and some footsmen and some shields right at the front there. There we go, that's about even. Let the massacre commence! Ooh! Ooh, that's brutal. The chariots, the blue guys have... Oh, that's a bit of team killing there. We've... <laughs> Overkill over there, but really... I think red team, in general, have quite a lot of overkill anyway. So, despite the ridiculous amount of uh, things that we're getting rid of here... Oh! The, the, the archers are ri- oh! Oh, right up his spout! That's got to hurt. I don't want to imagine what that feels like. Anyway! How do you feel about my science experiment? Thank you everyone for your comments. Let me know what ideas you have for this game in the next episode and I'm going to be looking at other games from the same game jam as this one so stay tuned for that if you've enjoyed then subscribe and like and if you want to help me out then I have a patreon where you can get awesome rewards but until next time mustache <laughs>